Hello everybody and welcome to another War Thunder video, yes. Now you might well recognise this old number, quite a popular machine, uh, the Messerschmitt 109E4. Now it might well look like any of the 412 million other types of 109s you've ever laid eyes on, but this one is different, oh yes. This one is tricked out with a rather spicy tropical custom camouflage skin, oh yes. A nice mix of light browns and yellows. Perfect for the palm tree covered, sun kissed, tan oil ready Scandinavian coastline. Uh, ooh, uh, actually, I think I've made a bit of a cock up there. It, it, this is in fact the least suitable skin possible for this aircraft. It's a bloody good job nobody else can see it, as it is a custom skin. I mean, North African desert brown against Norwegian fjord. We'd stick out like the Goering's at a salad bar. But yes, bloody good job it's a custom skin. Yes, otherwise, this here P-47 might have caught sight of a rather Mediterranean looking 109 in his mirrors. I yes, but I don't think he has, and so it's time for us to launch a Blitzkrieg style attack on this unsuspecting fellow. All we have to do is cross the border and hopefully finish him off. Fire! Yes, very good. It's like September 1939 all over again. Oh yes. Hello, it appears we've gone around this one. Coming in from the side, outflanked him via Belgium. Here we go. Lead the shot and fire. Yes, there's kill number two. Things are going remarkably well for us. I think it's down to the fact that this aircraft is extremely powerful. I mean, my goodness, these two cannons are bloody good. They atomize anything they hit. Uh, exhibit C is coming up shortly. Here we go. Fire. There we go, yes, absolutely wonderful. It is a very good aircraft with these cannons on board. Oh, hello, there's a, a P-47 there, harrowing a, a, a JU-87. Yeah, that's perfectly historically accurate. Yes, I think you'll find that in most history books. That definitely happened. Yes. Oh, Spitfire above us. And as you all well know on this channel, uh, they are considered the best aircraft in the world. So we'll go and deal with that now, shall we? Now it appears our entire team flew in at sea level and was instantaneously destroyed, rather unsurprisingly. To be honest, I wouldn't trust anyone sitting in a 109 below a thousand meters to boil an egg, let alone shoot down an enemy aircraft. Speaking of which, oh, there we go. Some bits came off that Spitfire there, but it is a Spitfire and therefore British and therefore very hard to destroy because it's so well made. Let's try again. Oh, they fell quite short indeed. Here we go. Let's turn with a Spitfire. Yes, there goes his elevator, and we'll finish him off with the MGs. You know, I've just realized that now wingless Spitfire is in fact a Mark 5B Tropical. Even the British holidaymakers are making their way to Norway from a break from the English drizzle. Yes, no. Well, they won't find any sun here. No, they won't. Clouds everywhere in Norway, apparently. Not a bit of sun, no. Uh, but it seems the JU-87, even in 1944, is a prime dogfighter. Oh, yes. It's still got it. Yes, look at it there. Diving on that P-47. Well, clues in the name, really. I mean, it's a dive bomber after all. Yes. I mean, look. The Thunderbolt is fleeing for his life. He's leaking oil, he's so scared. And who could blame him? We don't even need to go down there, because we have a JU-87. A timeless piece of air superiority fighting machine. We can't possibly lose. Oh, but what's this? Our bombers are... Uh, being blown out the sky over there by a couple of Apaches, A-36s. Not to be confused uh, with the AH-64 Apache helicopter gunship, of course. Oh no, these are in fact entirely different Apaches. Not helicopters at all, really, which might surprise you. Uh, these non-helicopters aren't going to present much of a challenge for our 109, to be honest. Uh, this thing's got the edge. Well, it's got the entire bloody sword over that aircraft. Um, we're faster, more maneuverable, with a better climb rate, and we're arguably a lot better armed. So it should be a stroll in the park. A stroll in a lovely park. If the park was filled with uh, a convoy of destroyers and cruisers that are heavily armed and dangerous. Uh, but aside from that, we're absolutely fine because they're shooting at our teammate who is performing the vital role of live bait. And so let's attack this Apache, shall we? Who is in the middle of a rather energy sapping turn. We've caught him with his trousers down. Here we go, getting saucy. 
Yes! There we go. Spread them over the water like strawberry jam. Absolutely lovely. And the last one there is running away because we have shattered his morale by killing his friend. Yes! Oh! Oh no! Our friend was just destroyed horribly. That's sapped my morale quite suddenly, actually. Uh, oh well, can't be helped. Let's charge after this last enemy, shall we? I think so. Now the flak is now focused on us. Uh, so we better employ some rather spicy flying. Some squires maneuvers coming in here. Here we go. Rock from left to right slowly. And we should be completely invulnerable. Yes. Oh, bloody hell, we stopped and we were hit. You see? Here we go. We have two rounds left to finish the game. Yes, there we go. Ruthlessly German and efficient. Yes, this is my favorite 109 out of the entire bunch. And that's saying something because there are about 50,000 of them in the game. But it is really very good indeed. It's, it's really very good. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that this aircraft is so very bloody good that a ripe vegetable like myself can hop straight behind the controls and achieve a kill to death ratio of 36 to 2 in RB. I only flew this aircraft out because my very good friend Max TV made a video on it saying how very bloody good it was. I then spoke to him later uh, and he said it was very bloody good and uh, well I concur in this video that it's very bloody good. Unsurprising really. And here are the results. Oh yes, as you well saw on the end screen there, six lovely air kills in as many minutes really. Not very much RP, uh, because this is indeed a very low tier aircraft, and well, that's about it really. Um, yeah, absolutely brilliant aircraft. Top of the team, uh, and I was in fact the only one to score a kill, uh, but that's about it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this rather quick video, uh, and if you did, please especially like via Carrier Pigeon. Not a German one, mind you. And, uh, well, I'll see you next time. Cheerio! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Run, run, bloody Nora Spitfires. The best aircraft in the entire world. A bit of spicy squire maneuvering should be the end of them, however. Here we go. Oh, crikey, bloody O'Reilly. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Oh, the ground! Pull up! Trees! Okay, here we go. Oh, hello! Goodbye! Yes!